When I think about the humanities, what I think about are our history, our values, our ideas, and our culture. The humanities are about community. They're humanistic. They're about you. They're about your relationships. They're things that touch us in our soul and our spirit that makes us uh, feel like we're connected to something bigger than who we are. It's also going back to remember those that have come before us who have framed these communities. I don't really know how you can live without the humanities and the arts. Humanities is a study of human experience. Discovering the tapestry of our nation's capital through its stories, its neighborhoods, and its citizens is the mission of Humanities DC. Hello, I'm Joy Ford Austin, Executive Director of Humanities DC. As we celebrate 35 plus years now, since the Council was founded, we look back at our rich history and our role in weaving the tapestry of our city. Through its many grants and programs, Humanities DC reaches more than 660,000 residents in each of the district's eight wards. Humanities DC engages district residents in substantive discussions on topics such as the role of black churches, the growing and vibrant Latino community, and other issues that affect the quality of life that touch us all. Humanities DC runs many programs reaching out to teens and young adults such as Soul of the City. Humanities DC sponsors the DC Digital Museum, a free online museum which captures DC's history and culture. This is an amazingly diverse place. Uh, it's diverse from the point of view of American history and populations, but it's also increasingly diverse with respect to international or trans-global populations, people coming from all over the, over the world to live here. A grant from Humanities DC enabled filmmaker Shalay Hainsworth to continue her Black Broadway on You project. Humanities DC, they understood the importance of this movement of the digital humanities and preserving the history, the humanities, the culture and art in the digital space. And I'm actually a direct descendant of the Greater U Street Quarter. I'm hoping that Black Broadway on You will be a stepping stone to ignite the engagement of our young people here to experience positive cultural identity, but also to become a part of preserving it. Humanities DC's Soul of the City reached 315 young people through nine programs over the last three years. Soul of the City was recently selected as a National Arts and Humanities Youth Program Awards finalist. The Pulitzer Prize Board awarded $40,000 to this innovative youth educational experience for two summer programs. Well, quite frankly, the Soul of the City changed my life. I would not be the person that I am today without the leadership, without the, the mentors, without the I mean, even understanding on a most basic level, understanding my own community. It's the opportunity to express myself completely, and Soul and City gave me that. Humanities DC's Community Heritage Project supports residents at a grassroots level working to preserve their own communities and find out the history of their own homes. This program helps newcomers better understand their neighborhood. It's easy to trace the basic history of your house. All you need is a street address, a few hours of research time, and your curiosity. Gentrification, it's everywhere. I, I can't stress that too much. And, and for that reason, uh, people are impacted by, by social change. But how do they accept it? How do they understand what's happening to them, to their community? 
and the humanities are a way of doing that. You know, you can't talk about Washington, D.C. and not think about Walt Whitman walking down the streets of Washington. For me to be on the Humanities Council was key because I was very much concerned, I'm not just being a poet, but also being a literary activist, that I wanted to make sure that people knew about the history of literature in Washington, D.C. Humanities DC is a strategic partner to the DC Commission on the Arts and Humanities. Humanities DC oversees some of the grants and serves as a link between the DC government and hundreds of nonprofit organizations and volunteers promoting humanities based activities in every ward of the district. They exist to actually manage programs in humanities that we don't have the capacity to manage. They have a very vibrant organization and they have wonderful programs throughout the city. Uh, so I see them as a, a, a partner, you know, comrade in arms. Where happy hour meets the humanities. That's the think and drink definition of a humanitini. These happy hour conversations bring panels of academics, cultural curators, musicians, and many experts for lively conversation and debate. The Humanitini is really a very interesting concept. It is our signature think and drink. And by that, we mean we want people to come out, have fun, talk, and engage one another. It is an opportunity for young people to come out and learn through panel discussions about the city, about its neighborhoods, about its history, and most importantly, about its politics. We have a bookstore. Uh, we have authors that come here and talk. We have poets, we have writers. All of these things are part of the humanities is what makes us human. The common denominator in all of these programs is Humanities DC. Ever vital, always indispensable. What we create and support offer perspectives that have never been more needed in DC and in our world. We invite you to support our mission. Give the gift of humanities to your fellow Washingtonians for years to come. I think the future for arts and humanities is robust. Our responsibility is to invest well, to listen to the community, to hear their needs and support them. I think we should even have more money to do that. As an investment, dollar for dollar, spending money on the humanities has far more impact than anything else you're gonna spend money on. Promoting the humanities has always been difficult, but the important thing is that it's never been more important. It's under pressure, there has to be support for it, or it could be mortally injured. We must not, we cannot, we will not give up supporting the humanities.